today we're going to have a look at an under six to under nine ball mastery program, giving your players much more touches on the ball in a small space, developing both feet and their changes of direction. This is great for a warm up or a small technical activity to start your session. To start so that players can get that grip on the ball, we're just going to have a look at the roll stop step. We want to make sure that the players can use their studs to roll the ball across their body and stop it with their other foot. Great practice for both feet, but it's also teaching the player to drop the shoulder, allowing them to have some dynamic movements with their close control of the ball. As we progress from there, we're bringing in an outside touch. We're using that outside of our boot to push the ball away into the space. As we're starting here, we're using just the right foot, but hopefully we'll get the players to move on to their left foot as well, or their other, other side that they use less. We want to make sure that we're getting that drop of the shoulder and the confidence in pushing the ball out of their feet. Developing ball mastery is really important, but it's that body movement that's really going to make the player more effective when they play. So we want to get that drop of the shoulder, touch on the outside of the foot, and again, practice on both feet. Moving forwards, we're going to be using the outside of our foot to move around that ball in that circular motion. Now, we're not moving the ball anywhere. We're not getting the players dribbling and performing the step over just yet. We want them used to that skill and that technique. So here, as we step around the ball, we're now trying to combine an outside touch with that step over. So we're stepping over and with a quick change of direction, we're looking at pushing that ball out of our feet with the outside of our foot. Practicing these step overs and the quick change of direction with the outside of the foot on both feet is vital at these early stages. Get this right and practice this enough and you'll have players comfortable at turning away and beating opponents in the future. Now as we go forward, we're just going to be using these side to side touches. Quite simple, we're using the inside of the foot to knock the ball across to the other foot. Make sure we can have little checks to get the players looking forward as they have the ball under control but we're using these to develop the next part of our practice. So we're looking at taking four side to side touches and then stopping the ball. As we stop that ball, we're looking to get our studs on top of it and keep it under nice tight control. But get the players to count out the four steps or the four touches and then stop that ball. But again, practicing on both sides. And now we can see where this is gonna come into the drill. So we're performing those four steps and then we're stepping over with the same foot that stops the ball. We now use that outside touch after we've stopped and stepped over the ball to change direction. So we're combining a few things here, but it's gonna take a bit of time for the players. They're not going to get it straight away, but these are individual steps and individual skills that you can practice and then build all into this one movement and practice here. So four side to side touches, stop it with that same foot that then steps over the ball and take the ball with the outside of your foot away into the space. For some of the younger players, that may just be enough for them to practice for the time being. But for any players who want to be stretched a little bit further or progressed more, we're going to start using L turns. Just little touches and a drag back and a sideways touch behind that standing leg to get control and change direction. If you have players ready to progress, we're going to put this L turn into the movement, hopefully getting a quick change of direction on the end of the skills that we've been practicing. complete our four touches, our step over, and then as we change direction or take that touch out of our feet, we're adding the L turn to come back to the start again. So four touches, step over, and then an L turn after that outside touch. Now this drill is great for getting players confident on the ball and taking plenty of touches. 
it will be difficult for some of the younger players at first, so use it in these stages that I'm showing you here. It might take time and there may be plenty of mistakes made, but I've done this with a number of young players before and it really does help. It's a great skill or practice to use as a warm-up or technical challenge and players love to see that they're improving, especially in that younger age group between the under six, under nine age groups. It gets players more touch than the ball, it helps them practice with both feet and you will be hearing lots and lots of players asking to show you what they've just learned. So give that a go, please like and subscribe and we hope to see you next time for our next practice.